and the two of cups came out <laughs> okay after all of this fighting and the empress is at the bottom because pisces know what she or he deserve okay so you got the two of cups the first card that came out focus on love okay pisces and then you got messages coming in pisces text messages coming in or offer of love you might need a soulmate oh pisces you fancy with these cards today um seven of pentacles and a four cups so, but why are you the offer is not good enough for you pisces okay you you're working but you're like i don't know you're not sure as a soulmate but you're not sure let's see sounds about sounds like a pisces to me hold on let me fix the uh so it could be straight all right so pisces let's see what else we got sun moon rising and venus king of swords it's reverse a crazy for gemini all right What else do we have for Pisces? The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. So now you have two people here. All right, Pisces, love. Seven of Swords, as much as I didn't want that to come out, okay? Eight of Swords came out, and the Devil. So someone could be toxic, Pisces. Let's see, Pisces, the Star Healing. Aquarius energy. So, are you waiting for an apology, Pisces? Did somebody hurt you here? Uh, regarding the type of love. Can we get two more cards for the bonus? One more. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Protecting your family. I love it. That's beautiful. Pisces. That is a love reading. Okay. Actually, and then you have the world travel delay here, but uh, you might meet someone new. Why is it two of cups for Pisces? The six of cups, someone from the past is reminiscing about the Pisces, or you are nostalgia so someone is thinking about you pisces and ruminating <laughs> let's see eight of wands watch this here for pisces ace of wands wow okay you have a lot of passionate connections or offers pisces and you're not stunting about nothing because you know that you can fall in love and be with someone when you say you're ready okay so you have a lot of messages coming in here. A lot of passionate offers, intimate connections. Um, whoa. When I said intimate connections, a card came out. Let's see what we got. That flew out on the floor. The Six of Wands. Aries of Sag. You're going to win. You're going to be victorious. Whoever you decide to be with. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Three of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Celebration. A work event. You might meet this person at work or a work event. Watch the Four of Cups. King of Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is the Four of Cups. It could be a water sign or your energy saying, I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know if this is good for me right now. Why is the King of Swords here reversed? Here's the Page of Cups. And the at the bottom, y'all look. The Two of Cups, Soulmate twice. So you got a Page of Cups, an offer of love. Um, so many water energy. Now, if you look at the other reading, it was no water. But once I focused on the love, all this love is just pouring through. And maybe that's your the, your message, is to focus on love and love will come. Um, Queen of Wands. Well, it flew across the room. So you might just be afraid to be abandonment issues. Maybe this is why you're afraid to um, let love in. And deception. Why is the uh, Seven of Swords here for our Pisces love? Seven of Wands, seven, seven. So yeah, you're protecting yourself because you don't want to be the disappointment. Disappointed. Disappointment. <laughs> you don't want to be disappointed. Uh, so, yeah. Why is the star healing? So 
some of us could be just working on healing ourselves. We could also be venturing to a new business here, being a better boss or a better supervisor, or just changing our attitude with that emperor here reversed. Or you can be expecting an apology from the Aquarius during Aries season, or an Aqu or Aries needs to apologize to you, okay? So you have the Ten of Cups, and then you have the Nine of Wands as your future advice, which is beautiful. Why is the Ten of Cups? The Fool taking a leap of faith. Take that leap of faith. That's Aries again, as well as Emperor. It doesn't have to be Aries, but it could be during Aries season. That you might run into a soulmate when you least expect. You might be running to Home Depot. You might be just on the road, and you might just run into this person. This person might exchange numbers, you know. That, that type of, um, you know, it's like that uh, serendipity or something like that. Serendipity, they ran into each other a couple of times but hit and missed. If you guys look at serendipity, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Alright, so nine of wands, what is this here? The nine of pentacles. So you have double numbers, seven, seven, nine, nine. So nine of wands. Seven of Wands with the Seven of Swords, and now you got the Nine of Pentacles with the with the Nine of Wands. So definitely not wanting to be single. You don't want to be single. You want to start a new whole beginning, okay? And once you focus on getting that and achieving that, it's going to come. What's that vice for place? Mm, the Will of Karma. Look at that. Spirit is right here with you, Pisces. <laughs> and it's going to give you that Will of Karma. So that could be generational wealth or a new relationship. If you focus on generational wealth, you're going to get that. If you focus on a relationship, you're going to get that. The love is here, Pisces. Whoa, okay. When I said the love is here, look at this star. Healing, beautiful. Two cards of Aquarius and healing. Aquarius is the healer. All right, so let's see. And then we have the strength, Leo. Wow. Take control, Pisces. I love it. Aquarius Leo is about taking taking your control back. All right. That's beautiful. Let's get one more for Pisces and call it a day. And you have this five of wands. It's like conflict here. And the conflict I see with the surrounding cards is a, a conflict within yourself here. And as you can see, she's holding that chest, meaning she's and Pisces sometimes tend to do this like we think someone is attacking us someone is against us someone is manipulating us and this is all mental so you got to come out of that mental state state where you're feeling like this is too good to be true or this person is going to hurt me and now i gotta hurt them or i have to reject it or it's not safe and allow it to be safe you gotta let love in and i do see uh, a queen of cups here the knight of cups reverse and also the imprints and don't set that set the bar high but don't set it so high that it's hard to achieve okay if that makes sense all right so Pisces this is your reading and thank you for those who have been liking sharing commenting on my um, videos I really appreciate it I do see the high priestess and the four swords so some people might get just ghosted or cut off and Pisces got this in the other readings so it might just be a, a cold period for us we might not want to deal with this, even if it's love. And I think Pisces got this in other reading where it was a soulmate type of energy. But Pisces just want to make sure that it's going to stay and last. We're not ready for just temporary love, right? You want something to build with, something long standing, okay? Something that's going to, you know, keep and grow, okay? So, yeah. I just want to pull one more card because this is beautiful, but I do see it. some of us are not, you know, we some of us could be giving up on love. Yeah, look at that. Four swords. <laughs> it's taking a long break and some of us could be traveling. All right, so again, you might meet this person at Home Depot. It could be a serendipity type of connection. Or some of us could just not want to deal deal with it. But you have offers. Pisces always have options here. So if you're looking for a personal, please link in the description. 
and uh, God bless and namaste.